Thanks for joining me today at Pets. Today I'm going to be speaking with Liz Lavornia of South Newfane, Vermont, and we're going to talk about how to get good pictures of your pets. Everybody has pictures of their pets everywhere. Nobody carries pictures of their kids around anymore. They have pictures of their pets. And sometimes they're great to look at, and other times you just wish they'd put their cameras away. So I want to thank Liz for joining us today. Thanks for coming, Liz. Thank, thank you for having me. I'm thrilled about this. This is great because I'm hoping <laughs> to pick up some tips myself. Um, so we've got some different cameras here today. Um, but before I, we go into that, so tell me, um, what, what pets do you live with? Well, I have four cats. Do you want to know their names? Of course. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Romeo, Grayson, Frankie, and Callie. And also there was a dog, Olive, who was a miniature dachshund, and she's very cute and persnickety. And she loves her picture taken, and if you've seen my page, uh, she's all over it. <laughs> I think I have seen those pictures. Yes. I think I have seen those pictures. We'll make sure yeah. that other people get to right. see them too. <laughs> in fact, um, some of the pictures that, that folks saw in the lead-in to the show are some of Liz's she, pictures. So. Yeah, she's in there. Olive's in there, and uh, there are two pictures of cats that those are my cats. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. great. That's great. Well, thanks for coming, and, and we've each brought one of our, our um, more... Uh, our better behaved <laughs> pets, right? right? You brought Clifford yep. and I brought my little lab puppy here. I did put a jacket on him just to get a little contrast, a color there yep. um, to work with. Um, so, so Liz, what are some tips that people can keep in mind about getting the best pictures of their pets? Okay, well, there's really four things that you can do to get great shots. The first thing would be not to use the on-camera flash ever. <laughs> That's the only thing that you remember from the show today. <laughs> Please remember that. Um, the reason that you don't want to use the on-camera flash is that it creates a red eye. You know, when you see the animals with the glowing eyes, right, it's right. a little scary, and, and it's actually not good for their eyes, so it's, it's good not to use on-camera flash. The best thing to do is to go outside and use natural light and natural sunlight not really in direct sunlight though, you want to be in the shade if possible um, because there's enough light that comes in to give you a nice shot. Um, if you're shooting indoors, then what you would want to do is um, position your animal by a window, by the window light. Uh -huh. And that produces a nice effect also. Like for cats, for example, you don't want them to be running around outside if they're indoor cats, right. Right. <laughs> like mine yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. So, so we, we think about lighting and not using the flash. What else is really important? Positioning of yourself and of your pet. Most shots that I see of animals, people take them from standing above them and shooting down. Right. You kind of get the Hershey Kiss effect uh -huh. where you have a little tiny head and a big body. <laughs> Great. Great. And I don't yeah. think the pet really appreciates that. Yeah. But, um, so what, what I do is I get on the same level as the pet and that way you're able to, to get a nice close-up shot um, and it has a much better effect. <laughs> right. <Trust me. laughs> right. So we've got the avoid the Hershey kiss effect right. with those straight <laughs> down <laughs> shots, but try to get down lower to their level. Yes. Or, or what about maybe putting the animal up on something, a chair or a couch or something? And yes. Dogs might be easier to do that with. I know that I have some cats that only do what they want to do. So, <laughs> for example, I was uh, having a mini photo shoot this morning with one of my cats and um, you know, I was on the floor, she was, you know, sniffing the camera, you know, like that. Finally, when I pretty much was giving up, <laughs> she decided to go sit on the chair, and the window light was coming in beautifully. Oh, there you go, just when you think you're, you're, uh, you've had it. <laughs> right, right. So you've <laughs> which, got... which, yeah, which brings you to the next tip, which is patience. You really need to be patient with animals because, you know, they, they do what they want to do. Um, if you're, if you're going to be um, doing a photo shoot with a dog, you might want to have them play for a while first. Right. There was one, um, one of my friends had a dog um, that loved soccer balls and just kept rolling that ball. Um, and then finally he took a break and he sat there right behind it. And that came out, that, was, that photo was in the intro as well. That was a great shot. Right, right. You know? So. Um, like I said, dogs are, are easier to, because to, they, they can, you know, 
they know different commands and things, so, so they're okay with that. But cats forget it. They just right, they do, <laughs> they just it. Well, do that's, whatever they want to do. <laughs> that's true of cats as well. And, and I mean, we, we do have some, um, some props that we brought right. in that you can use because I know I've seen this when uh, you've set up animals in a studio where yes. you were gonna, when you have a set and you're yeah. taking pictures of them and you have somebody behind the photographer right. With you a know, squeak wait, toy or, yeah. And then you get those cute yep. little head tilts and ear perks and things right. like that. So, right. so those so, are helpful. Yep, props and treats really work well to get their attention. Um, cats love these little fluff ball things. They and they look nice in a in a photo right. also. Um, so that's that's really a great a great tip. Yeah. Of course, you don't want to take a picture of the animal eating because that doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Maybe just after they've swallowed, you know. And sometimes too, if you, you know, if it's your pet, especially you know who knows them better than you. There are maybe you know key phrases that you say like, "Do you want a treat? Who wants a cookie? Something like that." And they'll you know, like right. with Olive, for example, the miniature dachshund, she hears "cookie" and she tilts her head, and so. A lot of pictures are happening because of the word cookie. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, you know the thing that's, that is, uh, I think, fa amazing, really, that is that m most everybody is walking around with a camera in yes. their pocket. Yep. It's incredible. Yep. Um, and so what are some of the, the tools or the programs or the apps that are available for people who are using their cell phones or their uh, I, don't, I have an iPod, but it doesn't have a camera on it, but mm -hmm. the iPhone does. So what, are, what are, are available to them for maybe editing or, or creating effects on their, on their pictures? Yep, Instagram is something that's really popular. Basically, it's similar to a Facebook, but it's really just a photo sharing site. I have that on mine. Um, and let me see. Yeah, and there she is. There's Olive. Um, it's very easy to use. They, there are tools on there where you can make different effects, like you can have a black and white effect. Um, you can saturate the picture for deeper color, so, and you can do some cropping. Um, and it's, it's really just quick touch-ups, um, so then you can upload them and share them with your friends. Right, right. So that's probably, I've been having a lot of fun with that recently, right. so that's, that's probably one of the big ones. Um, Flickr is another site that you can share your photos and also do some quick editing, um, like quick easy editing. There's also um, Google Plus, and oh, there, hmm. I um, haven't used that that much yet, but I know that they are, there is also a creative suite on there, so you can also touch up some right. photos there. So when people use those programs, they're actually uploading their pictures to the site, or do, or do they do some of the editing right there on their, on you, their phone? You do the editing in, in the phone. The app has the editing tools and you just edit it and then you upload it. So both Flickr and yes. Instagram, oh, that's... Yeah, Flickr, Flickr is something that, I actually haven't used Flickr on the, on the phone yet, I don't, I, so I can't tell you if that works or <laughs> not, but if, if you want to use the computer, you can do, you can do it that way too. Right, right, I, uh, I use one um, that's called Pixlr, mm -hmm. and I upload images and they will let me combine them together so I can make a collage or something or put a frame mm -hmm. around them or yep. something. It's very basic. Yes. Um, and then I, I can download it to my site, but I don't have anything on my phone oh, for that. Yep. But Instagram, you can get the app. Yep, you can, and it has the framing and stuff too for that. It's a lot of fun. Right, right. Yep. And, and um, you can also share to Facebook through Instagram. Ah. If you, it's like all linked together. Right. We see all those pictures yep. that people, s they um, post them on their, on their status page. Right. And know. speaking of that, I know that you do a fine fin almost every day, which is a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. I do. Fin do is you want to talk about that? <laughs> sure. And Finn is my border collie. And um, the, when we're outside, some, I'm always looking for him. Where's Finn? And I started taking pictures of Finn and making him be somewhat hidden in the picture and people mm -hmm. have to look for them and I posted them and people love them. Yep. I was really amazed and then I discovered that there's a there's a border collie in Canada named Momo oh. and his owner also takes pictures of of his border collie Momo and he posts them and it's where's Momo. <laughs> so I want to I want to find this fellow and say that Finn and Momo need to go do a road trip together. Right, that would go. be awesome. <laughs> um, but yes, if people want to friend me on Facebook, Debbie Jacobs, you can find me and I do post my fine Finn pictures. I also post them on Pinterest. Mm -hmm which is another photo sharing site that yes. I know a lot of people use, and I do have a board 
my fine fin board. Mm -hmm. um, and I keep uh, telling my nieces and nephews who all have babies that I will make them a little fine fin book. So for their babies, their kids, they can look for fine fine, uh, fine fin there. So. Yeah, thanks for asking. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, so we, we have a, a few cameras here, and we, we don't want to get into uh, too much of the logistics in, uh, of these cameras, but there are probably a couple of, of settings that might be helpful for people to be aware of. You just told me about one that I've had this camera for years. This is one of the first... Um, zooms that had the 12x zoom on it right. and I was going away and I, I wanted to get pictures of wildlife and so I got this came out and I got it and I was thrilled about that but all I ever do is set it on auto right that's all I do and I take pictures and I'm happy that's great <laughs> <laughs> but you, <laughs> well you know what I mean as a as a um, standard it's fine to have it in auto because the camera selects what it thinks is the best you know, setting for you. Some people like to use auto and some people never use auto and they get into the DSLR cameras. Um, but in addition to auto, there are some other preset, um, I guess you, would, you could almost call it like um, your next level of photos, of, of um, preset buttons that you have. Like there's one that looks like, uh, sometimes it just looks like a profile of a woman. Sometimes they show a little little child, but that's um, portrait setting. Yeah. So with a portrait setting, if you're taking pictures of your dogs, for example, maybe not the ones where they're out in the woods because that wouldn't work, but if you want to do a nice close-up shot, it's similar to taking a portrait of a, of a person. Um, if the person is in focus, the background is in a soft focus. It's a, it's a, gives it a nice effect where they kind of stand up out right. from the background. So you might want to use that setting. That's what we talked about right before we started today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's good. I'm, I and, learned something. Yeah, and also, again, going back to that no flash, you'll see a, a lightning bolt um, symbol on your camera. And usually that's the indication of, that's where you can set your flash to no flash. <laughs> so you want to pay attention to that one right, too. Right, <laughs> to remember that. So folks can look for those right. on there. Do these phones have flashes, any of them? They do. They do, and um, same thing. You have to go into the phone, though, to when you're going to take a picture, you can set it so that it, it's no flash. Right, right. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, I think that we do. We are actually doing a community service by getting people to take better pictures because when you go to parties and people <laughs> pull out their phone and they say, "Oh, I've got a dog. Want to see thirty pictures of him? <laughs> you'd three. You'd be lucky if you don't have to look at thirty of them." Right. And all of them are like you're saying. They're, the dog's out of focus. Their eyes, they look like zombies. Right, right. Um, or like you were saying, that Hershey head, Hershey right. kiss head that <laughs> right. they have in them. So that is really helpful. So, so we are doing a community <laughs> service there um, you know, with this program, getting, you know, helping them to understand better ways to take pictures of their pets. So yeah. thank you for joining us. It oh, was sure. fabulous to have you. And it was great. Yeah, thank you. And you know, really, again, just have fun taking pictures and you know it's something your animals they're with you every day sometimes you forget time goes by really fast but you know one day you're gonna be like oh why didn't I take enough pictures of you know I, I, I had so much opportunity so it's like start doing it now you know even if you take a picture one picture every day or one picture a month of your of your animals it's really the more pictures you take the better you get right so, right you know it's really fun so have fun with it Right. Definitely. Have fun and no flash. <laughs> Have fun with no flash. Good. Remember that one. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think it's probably helpful to, almost every community probably has a class in how to use your camera. The yes. community colleges. Vermont, Vermont Center for Photography has um, workshops and different classes um, that you could go to. They, I don't know if they have specific, you know, for specific um, cameras, but, you know, it's kind of a general overview. Right. Right. And really, all cameras come with a manual, too, and I know they say read the manual, but that's really the best way to get to know it. And just experiment with things, you know, just try different things, and then you'll get to be really comfortable with it. Right, right. And yeah. today you can do that. It used to be if you shot three rolls of film, you paid for it, right. and you were lucky if you got two good pictures. Right. Now you can shoot 100, and if you pull out a couple of good ones, and if you are good about deleting 
right. pictures that you don't want to keep. Right. Um, you don't have to fill up disks and, and right. um, your, your computer with different, um, with all those images that you'll never look at again. So that's always a good thing for folks to do too, is to yep. look for those classes. We get a, it does get, it is, it's fun to get interested yeah. in something new, and I think that because we have this resource available to everybody, that it's a great opportunity for it. So, um, so that's really fun. So, uh, thank you, Liz Lavornia. Thank you of Core Photography. Yep, Core in photography. South in South Newfane, and thanks for coming, and thanks for bringing Clifford, <laughs> the, the little red dog, <laughs> yeah, uh, to you. join us today. So, and thank you all for coming and uh, meeting with us today, for sitting and staying and I hope you'll be back.